Hey, what's up? This is Kenny Cameron. Today I'm going to show you your options as to how to hook up a strobe to your old school SX70 Polaroid camera. So if you like what you see here, please do me the favor and click the like and subscribe button down below. So when I bought my first old school SX70 Polaroid camera, I was always trying to figure out how to hook up a flash to it because the flashes that came with my camera were somewhat damaged and it's really hard to find the old school flashes that go on the top of this particular camera. So then I found this really cool thing called a mint flash bar made by Impossible. It's actually called the Mint Flash Bar 2. And basically it just hooks up right to the front of this camera and you put it right into place and then you can use a flash. If you look at the old school flash bars, especially if they've been used, you'll notice that all the bulbs tend to die over time. But Impossible made it incredibly easy to stick a flash right on top of your old school SX70 and give you a modern solution for a flash. The Mint Flash Bar 2 is sold at $89.99 in most places. The flash range and distance range is about 2 feet to 10 feet. It's powered by two AAA batteries and they're included when you buy a Mint Flash Bar. Mint also allows you to use 600 ASA film in SX70 cameras, thanks to a special switchable ND compensation mode. This particular flash system also comes with these cool hot pink and greenish filters to stick on the front of your Mint Flash Bar 2, and they're held together by magnets inside of the unit. So one thing to keep in mind, and I'm going to warn you up front, there was one time where I thought that I was missing one of my filters, and I contacted Impossible about getting a replacement. So they tried to actually charge me $26 for one missing piece of plastic, one little filter. So I thought that that was kind of extreme. So please, if you're choosing to buy one of these units, do not misplace your filters because they're going to charge you an arm and a leg for it. So now here comes the most exciting information about this particular flash system. The Mint Flash Bar 2 comes with the small PC sync port on the side. And what that allows you to do is basically use this with a monoblock strobe. In my case, I use Dynalite B4. I have a couple of those, and I always wanted to use a real strobe with this particular camera. So now I figured out an awesome solution on how to make this work. So let me show you how. If you look in my description, you'll see all the available links where you can go out and buy the specific materials that you would need in order to hook up a monoblock strobe with a mint flash bar 2 and make this camera work. So basically, what's in the link is a 3.3 foot 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter male flash PC sync spring coil cord for only $6.99. I found that on Amazon. So now, the one problem about that, that particular cable is that it's very short, so you don't get a lot of length, but they're also susceptible to breaking. So what did I do in order to fix that problem? Well, if you look in my second link, you'll see a quarter inch mono male to female audio extension cable. So basically, I'm a guitar player, I play in a professional band, but I figured if I took a quarter inch cable and connected it to that small PC sync cable, I would get 20, 30, 50 feet, whatever was needed in order to shoot comfortably. This definitely is the same kind of cable that you would run for headphones or guitar cable, guitar cables, microphones, whatever it is. This cable ranges from about $6 to $22. So now that you have your cables and your flash and everything's all set up to shoot, let's talk about your settings. Basically, I usually shoot my SX70 Polaroid camera with SX70 film. The 70 means 70 ISO. But when, I, when you're using a light meter, I tend to kind of shoot more so at ISO 100. So in another video that I created about this particular product, I stated that the aperture is F8. And Polaroid also mentions that the f-stop is F8 in these cameras. The one thing to keep in mind when you're using a flash is that depending on the lighting scenario, if you're indoors, I would shoot and lean towards F16, and if I was outdoors, I would shoot more so at F8. So I would say play with your aperture anywhere between F8, F16, and the source of light where you're, in my case, Dynalite B4. Whatever looks right to you is where you should shoot. Obviously, there are some test shots that you're going to need to take, but once you get the right one, they're going to be great. So here are a few shots that I took with my SX70 Polaroid camera with my Mint Flash Bar 2 connected to my Dynalite B4.
If you liked my review of the SX70 with the Mint Flash Bar 2, with all the accessories and everything to hook it up to a monoblock strobe, please do me a favor, go to the Kenny Camera channel and hit the like and subscribe button down below.